we have reached our space as you can see here that uh, building us in which we have our office now the question would be okay what exactly is happening here right so uh, we have nifty and bank nifty here and also nifty and bank nifty futures as well so that's what we actually monitor here uh, i would say not a really easy day to trade with as you saw the pnl was fluctuating all around the place right so ending the day near okay a slight loss slight loss happens man and today especially i have a meeting at 5 pm i'm meeting someone important if you have an emirates id then i think you might be able to hello fam good morning uh, so welcome to a very 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 different video right so this kind of a video is something that i've seen a lot of people doing and i see traders also doing the same then i thought why not do it maybe experiment a bit with content and give you something different right so yeah it's famously called a day in the life so when i thought okay when i'll do a day in the life the most special day in my life on a week as the expiry day that is on thursday right then i thought okay then why not uh, do a video like this on a thursday so yeah today is a thursday 1st september it is a weekly expiry as usual on a thursday and i'm super thrilled to the trading day and also for this shooting day as well right so anyways i woke up i looked into the markets and oh man i mean sgx nifty is trading somewhere nearly 17470 i mean uh, those who are in the markets would definitely connect with us so starting fresh going to be a pure intraday trade today so let's see hoping to have a good expiry for sure so nothing uh, much yet i woke up looked into the market so this much uh, was looking into the patterns in the us markets also yesterday to have a hang of uh, what we can expect in our markets today right had breakfast having a sip of my tea yeah i am a tea person and uh, time is around 8:15 am quickly planning to get to office because that is where the action happens so let us see there cool Yeah, we have Abdul also here. You all probably know Abdul Kader. Uh, so when I, sh I am shooting the day in the life, I really don't want him here. But again, he is just traveling back from his hometown. Oh, very sorry. Yeah, we've reached the lower basement. So, so he's traveling back from his hometown, and he reached just today morning. And the place he reaches is just next to my home. So he just crashed in, and we're moving to the office together. And very interestingly, speaking about this book, right? So. Uh, I've said this in multiple videos. Uh, more than stuff related to trading and investing, maybe I'm more reading uh, materials around. I don't know, making myself better, building a better organization, all of those things as what I'm reading now. Uh, so yeah, so this is what I'm currently reading. Start with by Why by uh, Simon Sinek. I'm sure you've heard about the book. Great one for sure. Uh, the one I read previous to this is. Uh, high output management by andrew grow that's what i read last so yeah so expiry trading can get boring in between as well so i carry my book and i read it in between so that's what so let me find my car so yes maybe if at least someone of you don't know uh, i live in bangalore that's where i live and uh, just go out of home and going to my office and office as in the kind of the startup hub of india i would say uh, hsr layout sector 3 to be specific so that's where the office is and you know the very famous uh, bangalore traffic is just building up maybe if you can uh, show that so uh, the signal is in fact uh, i'd say maybe nearly what 600 meters from here uh, so that's where the signal is and the traffic is or the block is started from here uh, but i would even say the traffic is only building up what it's just what 8:30 am so the peak would be what 9 9:30 i guess i don't know uh, but the interesting fact is that i've intelligent intelligently chosen a home in such a way that i can actually reach the office without even being in a single traffic light uh, so that is one optimization i did after reaching bangalore when i was searching for my home and office so i made sure the office and home are in such places so that uh, i don't get stuck in traffic at all so normally travel time uh, from home to office is what 10 minutes tops so that's it so yeah quickly reaching office as what it is so see you there We 
we've reached our space as you can see here that uh, building us in which we have our office so it is uh, honeycomb by beehive so it is a managed fully managed office space so we need not do anything everything is taken care of so i luckily have parking here today uh, just next to the office so yeah this is where shit happens so yeah let's get in quickly and set up uh, the desk and the terminal and the expiry day trading would be starting very soon so see you there yes market feed right here and oh yeah interesting maybe uh, some of you might know growth school uh, vibhav sisindi is pretty popular on linkedin so uh, his company growth school is on the second floor i guess yeah it's there second floor and we are on the first floor so yeah that is something interesting for sure morning yeah maybe you would have seen uh, bits and pieces of the office in some of the video so maybe if we quickly walk around i mean in fact literally quickly walking around so this is one quick glimpse of the office so we can actually take time out uh, when i'm trading we can actually come out see the rest of the office meet the rest of the guys in the office and as you can see it's brutally empty here at this point of time so uh, people are just coming in so there's a large misconception out there right people think that only traders sit there only like youtube related stuff happens here that is not a lot of different stuff happens here we're building the market feed app the market feed company no worries we have enough time so uh, during trading we can come out see the rest of the offers meet the rest of the team and and see what exactly they're doing right so anyways now let's uh, set up my trading setup and and maybe start trading right so that's what we'll be doing this is where i trade out of So yeah what is happening here is normally what we do in the pre open that is from 9 am to 9 7 am and as you can see ajay has reached ajay we were high maybe Hi. yeah yeah so ajay just reached before the uh, markets as opening and as you can see more people are coming into the office and we are setting things up so we basically as we discussed earlier right so we are all set for a gap down opening and that is what uh, the pre open is also suggesting definitely an open below uh, 17500 but i have a strong feeling that from the The gap down opening market would probably go up, go up with a lot of strength. Is what I actually feel. Let's see, uh, let's see uh, how it would be. Anyway, so that's the plan. So we kind of uh, normally do this kind of a prep, I would say, right? So we kind of uh, like planning for the day, as in marking the resistance, the supports. Uh, having a plan for the day always helps, right? So it's always said, uh, failing to plan is basically planning to fail, right? So we are uh, planning for the day, uh, and expiries are always the most thrilling day. So we are all set, I would say, right, team? Yes. Yeah, let's do this. Uh, so maybe you are kind of intimidated or, or kind of looking at the setup. I'd say this is a, a pretty simple, very simple setup. I trade out of my laptop. Basically, it's just a MacBook, and I trade out of this. Uh, and when I'm outside, I monitor uh, the trades on my phone. Uh, Ajay again uh, trades from his laptop. Yeah. Yeah, but if you see here, you might be seeing a lot of setup here, and Abdul Kader again uh, sitting here and doing this. So what is basically happening here is, uh, see, uh, strategies are run on clients' accounts as well. So that's again a part of the business that we are doing. So that monitoring happens here. So strategies, in Rade, mostly option selling strategies are run on clients' account, and we monitor, we make sure uh, strategies are run properly via the setup. So basically, uh, this. Uh, monitor is used for uh, looking into the charts and this one to look into the uh, client ac clients accounts and to make sure things are proper uh, and again maybe before getting into the trade just uh, giving a thumbs up that we are all mostly option sellers here uh, and most of the days we start off with a uh, directionless neutral strategy we make sure we sell calls and puts uh, multiple calls and puts on both the sides but as the day progresses if the day turns out to be a directional day a trending day then we become directional so that's the part of the strategy it becomes directional uh, it's stopped out so if market moves up our uh, calls are stopped out uh, and we would be uh, sitting with puts so i feel this would be that kind of a day where markets would move up let's see how it goes right so anyways uh, market is about to start so let's get back into it see you later Yeah so normally my setup is very simple this is where the team actually sits so i thought today i'll sit here uh, and maybe explain you what exactly is happening right so here 
on this screen we normally look into the market right see what exactly is happening so mostly our setup is very simple we trade only in indices as i said earlier so uh, we have nifty and bank nifty here and also nifty and bank nifty futures as well so that's what we actually monitor here just to have a feel of what exactly is happening in the market and uh, as you see here this is where as we uh, as i said earlier uh, strategies are run on clients accounts also right so that is what is happening here uh, this is the software that we uh, used to monitor a client's account to make sure stuff is happening well so uh, we actually oh, sorry uh, we actually look into their accounts to make sure uh, stuff is all happening well uh, all the or orders are placed according to the strategy all the orders are there and uh, they are doing well uh, so overall uh, the day so far as you can see here now that's what is interesting right so it has been as we said a really bullish day from the opening but now if you see there is an interesting red candle forming here right it's kind of engulfing the previous two candles if you see here in bank nifty uh, and the same is happening in nifty as well the previous candle in nifty is actually a rejection candle now this can be a uh, i believe maybe a turning point of the day if there is weakness from here then uh, we could say that the trend kind of has changed for the day. Otherwise, if this actually gets rejected from the bottom, buying happening from here, uh, not a lot of down move from here, then the, the buying can still sustain. Now, uh, that is what is about the market. We're still looking into it and are, so it's not a very aggressive trading style, right? Simple option selling. And my positions are running good here. So, uh, Mine is not part of this, right? I trade manually. So, uh, I've been placing the trades and things are going well. So, if you see here, uh, I'm... Uh, uh, at a very comfortable uh, profit of over much over one percentage already so thing is, uh, things are going well so far i'm sorry yeah so this is what is happening in my account and i basically place all the trades from my laptop only here right uh so if you see here uh hey ajay so this is what i use so i normally trade from here uh, this is my fires account and uh this is where magic happens for me so that's that. So I'll keep you updated. Maybe, I mean, I, I, I think as of now, okay, trade update is the fact that uh, I have a far out of the money call still. I have an 18800 call sold. Uh, but otherwise, all the near calls that I have sold for my Indra devotion, all of them have stopped out. Uh, so I'm carrying on to puts now, a lot of puts and some small calls as well. Uh, all other calls have stopped out, but it's still good. Uh, if the if market kind of expires here, I'm going to have a great expiry. So yeah, that is it. We'll keep you updated. Cool. Yes, cool. Hey, right. So, uh, as we just saw, things are kind of going really well. So, market is just moving up. And as we discussed earlier, it actually took resistance there, right? Bank Nifty taking resistance at around 39,700. Uh, Nifty at around 17,700. Beautiful resistance there. Uh, it's kind of coming down, staying there. Not much of a problem for our position. So, I'm actually going to get into a meeting. Now, the question would be, okay, what exactly is happening here, right? So, those are things I'll actually maybe take some time out later and explain to you what exactly we're building here, right? Uh, so, uh, Aslam is here with me for the meeting. Aslam, a product manager at MarketFeed. So, maybe say a hi. Yeah, hi. And how's the expiry trade going on? Yeah, you have positions so, running? Yeah, I've uh, taken an option buy position. Come, come, so, interesting, so, interesting. Yeah, so, yeah, product manager trading at market yeah, feed, yeah. definitely. So, what is it? Right. Oh, he has a put buy, if you see here. It's a 39, 300 put buy, and it is in loss now, but what? Oh, you had a future. This was long or short? This was long, actually, and so, the exit is in profit. Actually. Got it. How was this put in loss now? Uh, so this is like uh, we bought at 124. Uh -huh. uh, no, no, when, when? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, but then it went up. That time. Yes, 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 yes. Cool. Right. Let's see. I mean, this zone looks like interesting. I think if this low is broken, maybe your puts yeah, would give yes, you yes, profits. Yes, that's a hope. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. We'll get into the meeting then. Meet you later. Yes. Uh, so this is the larger meeting room that we have here. And as you can see, uh, Suraj, uh, my co-founder, is sitting inside. We'll uh, talk to him later. But one another thing I'll talk about before getting into the meeting room, the larger one. So this is named Gamma. So interestingly, we have four meeting rooms uh, in the office and all of them are named on the uh, base of Option Greeks. How interesting, right? Anyways, getting in. See you later. Yes, hi. Uh, I thought I'll give you a quick update as to what's happening. Time is nearly 1 p.m. Uh, I'm done with the meetings mostly for like during the trading times at least. After uh, market hours, I do have some meetings scheduled. Uh, if you look at what's happening in the market as we discussed earlier, if you remember, we were expecting 
uh, Nifty, Bank Nifty. You remember, right? We uh, spoke about this rejection candle and this candle, and probably a possibility of the markets to move down. Uh, the same with Bank Nifty. And, and see the beauty, right? 78, 700 is exactly where uh, Nifty took support at. And the market is moving down. In fact, time is 1 p.m. and the European markets opened and all of the European markets are in the red. Uh, uh, Germany is in fact 1 point... Uh, see, uh, as you can see here, Germany is down 1.2 percentage, France is down 1.5 percent nearly and UK is down nearly 1 percentage. And we are moving down. So if you see here in Nifty, can you show here? So yeah, so Nifty formed this consolidation zone around 17600. Now Nifty is breaking that consolidation uh, zone towards the lower direction and obviously uh, Nifty is moving down. If this is being broken, then maybe we can expect a down move. Hopefully, I'm definitely hopefully uh, the day is slow. I'm hoping the day is slow not to be broken and Nifty to stay between 17500 and 17600 for this expiry. Uh, now giving a quick trade update as well. So uh, I uh, remember showing you like good great green PNL earlier now it has all come down in fact it's like it's just at 5,000 uh, 8,000 rupees now right oh in fact it has gone into the negative as well but uh, cool we still uh, adjusting the portion I did adjust in between as well we have some calls shorts also now uh, so hoping things to be all right if nifty is staying or not breaking the day slow if nifty breaks the day slow is where things can be a bit interesting so let's see how things are uh, so yeah that's that uh, and also it's time for me to order my lunch as well so I'll be ordering I'll be having my lunch also. Yep, that's that for now. So finally, you have some time for us, right, Adi? Uh, I know you're busy with editing uh, a few videos that have to go out today. But anyways, time is what? 3.41. I'm not sure if you can see it or not. Oh, you saw the PNL as well, right? Anyway, so time is 3.41. Market has closed. So uh, I would say not a really easy day to trade with. As you saw, the PNL was fluctuating all around the place, right? It was well over what above one percentage profit in the morning itself. Then it went down into uh, negative, into loss, and then a fair bit of uh, firefighting to do. In fact, I'll, I'll show it there uh, what happened in the market today uh, so if you see here this is uh, nifty so yeah so it went up so much in the morning nearly 200 points up move here and then from there it just came down down and down and it broke the day slow here see it broke the day slow and it was such a fake breakdown here because it just went below and then it came back right back up and expired and closed expired at around 17.542. So anyways, that is what happened. So uh, I had my put shots here. Then it, when it came down, my put shots were in trouble. And that's when you actually saw my positions in trouble and in red. But then I fire fought. I fire fought well as what I believe. From there, then I started selling calls and then uh, I could end the day. Uh, but the overall position strategy that I actually share on market feed that did not need any kind of an adjustment but the more aggressive intraday trades that I do I had to do a fair bit of adjustments and then I'm ending uh, just at nearly one percentage profit here if you can see here uh, that maybe we just see it here right so yeah so ending just nearly uh, one percentage profit as where I am ending the day I would say I wouldn't say I'm really happy today for the fact that as we saw uh, there are strategies being run on clients account as well right so those did not do really well today so that's something with which so because of which I'm not that happy today so that uh, actually book minor losses there in those uh, strategies because of the uh, major up move and then coming down Bank Nifty did not move that much today but Nifty so but that is a bit of uh, or that that kind of made the day not very great right anyways uh, Ajay I hope again obviously right so you also had a great day so we just took quite a lot of similar trades to you yep. as well and uh, yeah ending the day similar near the same percentage right as you slightly lower so that's always the benefit of sitting together and trading together so I always believe that helps and yeah you might be missing Abdul Kadir here he's somewhere over there if you see Abdul, yeah, so you might be seeing Abdul uh, walking around there. So what he is actually doing is basically uh, managing his uh, community. Basically, he is a mentor at Market Feed, right? So he teaches people how to sell options the way we do. So uh, he is talking to his mendies. Uh, so he is putting an end to the day, telling how the day went. Uh, and uh, he's just talking and teaching them, probably answering their questions. Uh, we saw... We have Nihal Bandapali there, if you see. You might know him from some of the videos uh, or, or uh, from his presence in the stock market show. Again, he came in as a Mendy, a proper option seller now. So he is with Market Feed. So we should pro and we also saw Aslam in a trade, right? We should probably go out and uh, see how they ended the expiry. Yep. Nihal, how was the expiry? 
Yeah. Like dark cracking, right? Yeah, and absolutely. I mean, when it almost leaves the day, the yep. day slow. Yep, oh, exactly. Yeah. That's exactly what I was saying. I mean, it yeah. broke the day slow, and it yeah. was such a fake break drop breakdown. Yeah. Yeah, and that one green candle. Oh, uh, <laughs> the what calls were you in at that point of time? I was in puts, right? I okay. Was, oh, in call. I don't know when it uh, break the day slow. Probably you would have moved down your calls. I was at six hundred calls. Oh, you know, that. Cool. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that cool. was okay. I wasn't very aggressive. Mm-hmm. Uh, but uh, it was uh, still a very tiresome experience. I would mm-hmm. say if you just see this chart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go and. See, maybe you have your PNL up and running. Uh, see, I was looking at the chart here. Yeah. And I was like handling two accounts. Yeah. One I have to like trade on my account. Cool. And then I have another Algo account, right? Oh, yeah. So that Algo account again, I have to. I keep checking it in mm-hmm. here. Mm-hmm. Anyway, so other account has ended in profits. What percentage is that? Uh, that account ended in loss actually. Oh, okay. That's break even. No, no, the the one we just saw now. This oh, other account. This is in profit of 0.7 percent, I guess. 0.7. Oh, yeah. very similar. Yeah. Nice. 0.7.8 percent. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. The other account which you were about to show, even that's in profits. That's in break even today. Oh, nice. That not bad. See, yeah, so not a... <laughs> exactly. Yeah. We I mean, thought that after the breakout. Yeah, I was out. almost in completely puts yet, but yeah. a very far out of the money call. Yeah. Then it came down and. Then wasn't great. I was actually looking forward to a two percentage plus expiry today, but then I'm ending it with. I mean, one. I've I thought of moving my puts aggressively, uh-huh. but at this point I stopped moving my puts, nice. and then I moved my calls aggressively. Mm-hmm. Then I was like worried after this up move, right. but then it got was it, okay. It consolidated. Understood. Overall, a good expiry, I would say. Yep. 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 Thank you very much. Maybe say hi to the camera. No, hey, all of them hi. almost know you. And again, make sure you uh, watch and visit Market Fit Telugu, where yes. he is rocking, right? Yep. So yeah, cool. We'll uh, go to Aslam maybe. Yep. Yep. Oh, thank you. He had a put. Yeah, that's what he had a put by. They, they know. They know. They know. I mean, he, he had actually shown uh, oh. that he had a put by in the morning. Aslam, what happened to your put by? Your put. Are you in a call? No. I'm Not necessary. Oh, okay. Yeah. What happened to your put by? Yeah. So uh, actually, I exited. Maybe show the people. Like, we are all open, transparent here at Market Feed. So this is how Aslam's uh, expiry went. The put by, mm. okay. So, so this is a different put by, uh, like uh, okay. uh, from the one which we showed in the morning, right? Mm-hmm. So that one we exited at cost actually, mm-hmm. uh, but it went to what? So the put by we saw in the morning you exited at cost. Exited at cost, okay. but it went to what? Double the price, uh, <laughs> at one one and a half hours. Okay. Uh, Obviously, that. yeah. Yes, yes, yes. And this is a different one. This was like a hero zero trade. Okay. And it went to zero. Zero. Obviously. Yeah, good. Right. Yeah. That's what happened. So ending the day near. Okay. A like slight loss. Slight loss happens, man. Yes, yes. Yeah. And this is like uh, this is like MPM. Uh, this one is in uh, post tape. This I didn't is that positional. This, uh, uh, yes, yes, yes. Okay, is. so the futures portion that we see is uh, positional. Right, so you are right. carrying it forward. Yeah. It's a short. Yeah. So you're expecting the market to go down? Right. Yeah, let's see. Cool. Anyways, thank you, man. Thanks yes, a lot. Thank yeah, sure. So yeah, so that's how things went. I'm, I'm sure there are other people also with portions, but let's not go to everybody, right? So anyways, that's how things go, right? So on an expiry day, when as you saw, uh, the journey is not that very simple and linear, right? It was, I mean, I, I showed you actually one point some percentage profit in the morning, then it went down, then it came back. And I think it was the same as what Nihal also shared, right? It was kind of a, uh, a volatile day. So PNL is also supposed to be volatile. So usually my day actually starts after trading hours only, right? So that is when mostly I get into the other meetings here at market feed and today especially i have a meeting at 5 pm i'm meeting someone important so i'll be going out for the meeting then i'll come back i have another meeting here in the office at around 6 6 15 then we have the stock market show at 7 pm obviously uh, and then i have a q a session today with our community members and after that i'll be posting a very special video on the channel at 8 pm not this one obviously uh, but a very important calculation video, financial planning calculation video with an Excel sheet today at 8, 8.30 p.m. on the Market Feed channel. And after that is probably uh, my official day would end and I would head back home. Uh, so that is that. So uh, meet you on the way to the meeting. So that's where we'll meet next. Bye-bye. So yeah, so as I said earlier, we're going for the meeting and the meeting is not an office, obviously. Uh, So it's in a Starbucks nearby the HSR layout Starbucks. So that's where we're going and we're meeting someone 
kind of big i would say uh, it's a broking company that we are meeting today so these are all official meetings related to what i am trying to build at market feed right maybe that is something we should definitely talk about you might have seen me going into the office you might have seen we have nearly 40 people in the office now you, you would have seen a lot of people sitting there and not everyone is necessarily trading and not everyone is necessarily helping me make youtube videos right then you might be wondering hey what exactly is happening there why are so many people sitting and what are we building at market feed right maybe a lot of you know no this already but i think i should, i mean anyway since we are doing this we should definitely talk about what i or we are trying to do at market feed uh, so to begin with i would say uh, market feed is a y combinator incubated startup if you know what what y combinator is we are also vc funded uh, we raised a seed fund also and we exist or i'll, I'll tell what our vision is right our vision is to make or to help people make an income from the stock market it's as easy as that that is the vision with which we are living that is the vision with which we are building everything every product and services that we are trying to build to help people make income or generate cash flow from the stock market so when you hear that it's very clear right we want to help people become traders we want to help traders become better we want to help people make an income kind of a thing from the market so we deal with traders trading we are deeply rooted into the trading ecosystem is what i would say so that is that so even so that's a very larger uh, description of what the company stands for but i'll talk about exactly three products and services that we are building number 1 as a service i would say uh, service product mix uh, that we have which is an offering which we offer to people who have an intent to learn about trading and then trade for themselves and make money from the market cool for them we have an offering which are called our mentorship services so a mentorship offering what we do is i actually go out and i try to find out real profitable traders out there who are actually trading in their account and making profit i look into their pnl make sure they're making money and we onboard them as mentors on marketfeed.com yes go to www.marketfeed.com that's exactly where you can find uh, our mentors who, from whom you can actually get their mentorship programs now mentorship program is very different from any other educational programs in the trading industry now number one the mentors are profitability verified we do that you can trust us on that number two is they teach you live and they actually after teaching you okay now we are experimenting with both live and on demand videos but the point here is the mentor does not just teach you but after teaching the mentor actually sits with you in the live market and does live trading with you for one month minimum so when you actually do live trading with your mentor who is actually successful the chances are really high that you can turn successful so that's our number one offering for people who have an intent to learn and trade themselves our educational offerings or mentorship offerings second uh, thing that uh, product that we are building is actually for people who might know a bit about the markets or might not want to learn about the markets but they want to trade themselves they really want to trade themselves get better at it or explore trading and stuff like that and for them is why we build the market feed mobile application so you can download the application from uh, android uh, uh, store or the app store and on the app you can actually see maybe i'll, I'll uh, bring up the app here you can actually see that in the app you can see profitability verified traders listed again and these traders when they take trades they post the same trades as a proper trade idea card on the app so what happens here is if you compare it with any other uh, stock tip providing service what is different here is the trader actually post the capital allocation as well that is uh, the trader would say that okay i entered into this trade with 20% of my capital since capital is set there you can also if you are interested take that trade with 20% of your capital now why is this amazing since capital allocation is given position sizing is maintained and position sizing is what makes people normally fail when they actually take advices and tips from other people so here we are giving trades of profitability verified traders with capital allocation and hear this out it's free it's free we are doing this for free and on a day, on a weekly monthly basis we are onboarding more and more expert profitability verified traders onto the app who can give free trade ideas to you try it out right so you can definitely do that now no, the number third thing that we have recently started as basically what you saw earlier as well automated trading strategies uh, in the accounts of people now hear this out right these are people who do not want to learn do not want to understand what the market is and they do not want to trade themselves maybe they do not know how to trade themselves so even there are people like that that right and those people might have money and they want to make returns as well so for those people we are doing this mostly intraday systems uh complete 
completely automated. Uh, so that's also being done now as a very recent offering. So this is what we are doing currently at Market Feed. We keep uh, constantly evolving. We have a very active community, including you, you guys, right? So we keep listening to you, uh, try to understand what the trading ecosystem in India needs as of now, and we try to iterate, get better, and build multiple products and services around that. So that this is, in short, maybe I don't, I don't know how short this was, but this is what we are doing there, and this is exactly why we have so many people in the office. We have a near what a 15 member uh, engineering team, a near five three member product team, an analytics team, a design team, uh, a business development support sales team, and uh, all this on top of the media team that we obviously have there, plus the trading team, right? So uh, we are in fact building a small research team in house. A quantitative uh, research person is in fact joining in the I think the late first week of September. So when he joins, it would even be more fun. Uh, in the office. So we are here, maybe, yeah, so uh, perfect timing, right? So I just stopped talking and we are here at the Starbucks. So let me find a place to park the car and let's quickly go in. I'm already late. I mean, uh, they're already already there. So the last minute, last meeting kind of got delayed. So let me quickly park. I see a parking board there, but no space there. Let, let me quickly park and go, get inside. Meet you later. trying to participate in US stock market, uh -huh. uh, I, I have to pay the taxes as per uh, the laws in US, right? No, I don't think so, no. So, uh, what I've heard is, so if you have a Dubai company registered or maybe something like that, and that entity is actually trading in the US market, then you're making, basically making money in Dubai, in UAE. So, you need not pay taxes, right? Okay, okay, yeah. okay. Same is the case with individuals as well. Mm, I think so, yeah. If you have an Emirates ID, then I think you might be able to. Yeah. Oh. Yes, so yeah, the time is 9.55 p.m. I don't know, Adi earlier said that there are some focus issues. I hope you can see the time. See the time? See the time? Yes, so 9.55 p.m. So this is what, uh, I mean, normally I wouldn't say that I get so delayed in uh, leaving the office, uh, the show is done and then uh, uploading the videos and stuff is done by max 8.30, 9 is when I normally leave the office. Today has become an outlier, it's a bit more delayed than usual and very unfortunately you probably saw me uh, sitting there and uh, reviewing today's video that has to go out but then some problems came out and unfortunately we couldn't post today's video so as you can see i mean work a lot of work is happening here for variety of reasons uh, sometimes some things as expected wouldn't go out uh, but yeah so as you can see the office is almost all empty uh, and i'm leaving for home and one interesting thing is there's one gentleman sitting there uh, you might know him already mr vibin chittal so he's our uh, crypto expert option seller in crypto right so he is a mentor here at market feed he runs this program again could be found out at uh, www.marketfeed.com hey Vibin, interesting answer for them how much returns did you make last month 27 percent 27 percentage roi in a month again this is all out there his pnl is out there in the public you can join his mentorship and start making money but uh, again one downside right you'll have to sit here like this probably at 10 pm and all uh, looking at a bit what what's happening in bitcoin crazy stuff uh, anyway, so that's that. So, Naveen probably you wouldn't have met in today's video, but we'll, we'll meet him eventually. That's it. So, leaving for home. So, one interesting thing is expiry nights are normally party nights for us. I mean, given the fact that expiry is where, so we kind of, I mean, you would have probably already seen traders who kind of consider their week starting from Friday till a Thursday. And Thursday is when they actually call their week off and start partying, right? In fact, a lot of traders actually don't even trade on Fridays. Uh, so yeah, so kind of we uh, follow the same tradition, though I uh, mostly don't trade on Fridays. Uh, off late, I've started trading on Fridays as well. Uh, so, but still, I continue the tradition of having a lot of fun uh, on Thursday night. So yeah, that's where I'm heading to. Even there, uh, coming to my place where we actually uh, chill in the night. So let's go there and put a great end to the day, right? Come on, boys.
In fact, uh, when I think about it, uh, when we get home, Adi, we might actually actually start having fun and we might not be able to give a sign off maybe, right? So I think, I think it would be best if we actually uh, do the sign off for the video, give a conclusion properly and maybe then go home and then just chill, just focus on that. I really don't want me to work there and even you to work there and, and focus on making the video, right? So let's get it done with. Right, so uh, the fact is, since this is day in the life, so I think we should probably do a retrospective look back into the day and maybe think about how it went, right? I would say it was a great day for sure. A lot of work getting done. The fact that even this video is being made that this works for me, right? So this is going out means that a lot of extra work got done today. And in fact, I had some really great productive meetings today. The one which I went out for is also, I mean, I could gain some really good, uh, insights from that for sure so it was a very good day and from trading perspective yes it was an expiry day the most thrilling uh, trading day in the week for a trader and yeah why not right a great expiry one percentage profit i would take any day so a good profitable trading day a uh, very productive day with the video being recorded i would say it is an amazing day uh, just the fact that uh, which sets it off from a normal day is the fact that uh, I'm going home a bit late, but again, that's not an issue at all, right? So when you actually enjoy uh, what you're doing, you never feel like you're working, right? I mean, you're always enjoying, you're having fun. Uh, and also another down point I would say is the video not going out. So that would be another, uh, uh, not a great thing which happened today. So that plus maybe a few, uh, one of the few uh, automated strategies not doing well. But again, uh, that's trading, that's how trading us. I mean, it wouldn't be, all days wouldn't be great. We always, it's a constant endeavor to make it better, uh, but that's all okay. I mean, what you look into, it, uh, if, when you look into trading, all you look into is the PNL for the long term. So that is all great. So I think that is it. No point in talking anymore. So I hope you enjoyed what I tried to do here, right? Uh, so going ahead as well, I would really love to share what we are building here at Market Feed and how we are, uh, I mean, what all products and services we're building and what is our actual journey in doing this, uh, how we are all trading here and all of those stuff. If you would really love to see the insider stuff at Market Feed, do let me know in the comment section. And not just that, whatever you feel about this video, do let me know. Uh, even in my Malayalam channel, I've never done a thing like this, a day in a life uh, vlog kind of a thing. So do let me know how this went, uh, what you feel about the video. So yeah, that's it. Uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't necessarily ask you to like the video, comment and stuff. It's all up to you. I, I don't even know how to end a lifestyle vlog as you can seriously see, right? I'm struggling to end. So that is it from my side for this video. See you in the next one. Till then, bye-bye.